have discussed about important properties of regular languages in the previous slides also just a brief brush up regular languages are closed under concatenation clean closure union intersection complement and difference now based upon these properties we will be designing the dfa consider the following example in this example we have to design a dfa for a regular expression which has at least 3a or at least 2b so to start with if we consider at least 3a there the restriction is on a no restriction on b so the regular expression will be b star a b star a b star a into a or b whole star which is a universal string we have designed the dfa for this particular regular expression and named it as d1 next we move to dfa for at least 2b the concept remains the same we here we have restriction on b and no restriction on a so it will be a star b a star b a or b star the dfa which has been designed for this is named as d2 now in order to find and expression that means dfa for at least 3a and at least 2b we will merge the states of d1 and d2 d1 has four states and d2 has three states the merge table will have 12 states in all with the inputs a and b which are shown on the left side of the slide as a table form now we will try to identify ae comma a that means transition from a and e on a this gives us be which has been marked with green color next we move to ae on b ae on b gives us af next we move to af af on a gives us bf af on b gives us ag next we move to ag that is the third state in this we have ag on a gives us bg and ag on b gives us ag we start with the states of be be on a gives us is ce and ve on b gives us bf likewise we will continue and we will generate the entire table once the entire table has been generated we will draw the dfa corresponding to the table which has been generated so this is the final dfa which we get now the point arises what should be the start state and what should be the final state as far as start state is concerned ae will be start state since a was the start state for d1 and e was the start state for d2 likewise d was the final state for d1 and g was the final state for d2 so dg will be the final state and this is the final output which we get next, next question where we have to find the complement of ab whole star we will first draw the machine corresponding to ab star this is the dfa which we get for ab star as we can clearly see here we have only two states and this df whenever we are talking about complement it is necessary that the dfa should be complete in this case from 0 we have a move on a but we don't have any move on b likewise on 1 we have a move on b but we don't have any move on a for a complete dfa the condition is that corresponding to every input we should have compulsorily one output here sigma is ab so we should have two outputs from every state now we will introduce a new state that is state number 2 uh, we will have a move from b to 2 and from 1 we will have a move from a to 2 and two state will have in itself a self loop of ab in order to find the complement we just need to make all final states as non final states and all non final states as final states so this is the final output which we get this is the complement of ab whole star third question says that we need to find the complement of a star b star we will initially draw the dfa corresponding to a star b star in this we can clearly see that for zero we have two moves one from a one from b so zero state is complete and one state has only one move that is for b it does not have any move for a so we will introduce one new state in order to complete the dfa and we will have a move from 1 to 2 on a and have a self loop on ab in order to find the complement the only condition is that convert all non states into final states and all final states into non final states so this is the final output which we generate corresponding to the complement of a star b star thanks for